Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Color, PlayStation. Are you kidding me? Retro Station PC, people, is finally on my desk. Here it is, people, the latest Retro Station. Back to the future when the newest features meets retro. One of my favorite retro brands um, of this year. I already reviewed their previous Retro Station, which was incredible. They've gone and made a two-in-one PC. You can see the specs on the back. So Intel Celeron J4125, eight gigs of RAM, DDR4, 128 gigabyte SSD, but you're also getting a two terabyte hard drive. You've got Bluetooth 4.2, dual band Wi-Fi. You've got Windows 10 Professional built in, but you've also got another secondary OS, which will load up your retro station games. And people, listen, 53,000 games installed for you to play. Supports 4K, VGA, HDMI, USB 3, and you've got one gigabyte LAN as well. Where the newest features meets retro is what I'm excited about. Let's check this out. Okay, we've got some in-game hotkeys, a few, a few things here to help you out along the way. Uh, it does make things easier. This does support uh, different controllers, so PlayStation, Xbox, PS4 controller, all of that will work with this. User details, password, security question, answers, everything is there for you to set up and get yourself into this gaming action. We've got two controllers. And remember, you can use your own controllers. You don't have to use these if you don't want. So these are generic uh, multi-console controllers. They work on everything and you've got some cables to go with it. Okay, exactly same second controller there. Controller manual. Here is your wireless keyboard that you are gonna need because this is a mini PC. You need to use a keyboard uh, to select between the dual booting options. There's the dongle and there is the battery compartment. If you don't wanna use this, you don't have to, you can just grab a regular uh, PC keyboard and mouse and away you go. So Retro Station PC, two in one. Here it is. It's a mini PC. I'm trying to figure out which brand this is. Okay, so we've got a mini PC here. Here it is. It's already got some dongles plugged in. I'm assuming it's for the controllers. Check it out, people. Wow, does the top come off? Yes, it does. So we've got a power supply. I'll zoom into the voltage in case you guys want to read. 12 volts, 2.5 amps. It's a 30 watt charger. That's, so that's the mini PC accessories. Now the mini PC itself is very familiar in design. I'm pretty sure I've reviewed something similar to this, but it looks like the branding has been removed. You've got an LED bar at the bottom, VGA port on the side with some ventilation, which looks like copper, but it's actually plastic. So clever design. Um, you've got a Kensington lock, headphone jack, Gigabit LAN, we've got two HDMI outs, so it supports dual 4K displays. You've got a USB port and a power socket. On the side, we've got three more USB ports, and these two with the dongles are USB 3 ports. You've also got a micro SD card slot and a power button. So a quick look at that top latch. We're gonna remove this screw, which I believe is blocking us from opening the top cover. I could be wrong, but let's see. Yep, there you go. So we're gonna open this top cover. Look at that, people. We've got a two terabyte hard drive already installed. You are certainly not gonna get bored of the games. There are plenty to choose from. I'm not putting that screw back on as I like to keep things a bit open if you catch my drift. All right, I'm gonna get this all set up. I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see what the brand new Retro Station 2-in-1 PC is all about. I'll be right back. So this is what you're gonna see first. Explosion of fun, which sounds good to me. Chain loader file. Retro Station PC, Windows, or boot information and utilities. So wow, this is really neat. I love how it starts up. So you can't control it with the joystick. You do need a keyboard. You can use this, which works pretty good, or you can attach a keyboard and mouse, a regular one via USB wired or wireless, both will work. So now we're gonna boot into the Windows side of things. So this comes pre-installed with Windows 10 and the login for the Windows is given to you on the piece of paper that you get inside the box. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly log in and be right back. So we are all logged in. I'm using the wireless keyboard to 
navigate and you can see everything working as it should. So a quick look at system properties. We are running Windows 10 Professional. You can see it's the Intel Celeron J4125 clocked at two gigahertz. You've got eight gigs of RAM and it's a 64 bit operating system. And I do want to mention that Windows does not come activated. So you're not getting a free version of Windows. Um, if you want to activate it, you need to have a product key. So system storage info, Windows is installed on the 128 gigabyte SSD, and you've got a separate partition for Retro Station to boot up Retro Station. So that's not where the games are installed. That is just a separate partition to boot up Retro Station. And from here, you can actually manage your boot options. So these were the boot options we have. You could manage that if you like. You can remove stuff, you can, uh, you can change the boot order as well. So I do like how the system boots up and gives you a choice. Now let's restart into Retro Station. So let's check out Retro Station PC. So you've got two versions there. I'm just gonna hit normal. Now I know it looks like the animation is absolutely lagging and it makes the system look really slow, but no, this is in fact loading. So that's why it's uh, taking long. Um, yeah, this is normal. I've tried it a few times and this part of the startup animation screen is going to take this long. Uh, it still looks cool though, but yeah, it's going to take a, it takes about 30 seconds to boot up this screen and you can try pressing start and stuff on the controller to see if it speeds things up, but it won't. Now the controller dongle is already plugged in. All you do is keep this button pressed until you see the lights and then it immediately connects up. You can play two player games with this. There's two controllers included, but you can actually attach up to four game controllers and play four player multiplayer games uh, on this unit. So definitely, definitely exciting stuff. I think it's been around a minute for starting this up. It's still loading stuff. It looks like it's outputting in 4K as I got the message in the bottom right hand corner. Retro station is done loading. So we should see the menu screens any second now. There we go, finally. So yeah, it takes a good minute to load this system, but there is a lot going on under that hood and there are a lot of games and consoles to choose from. So we've got the Amstrad GX 4000. Some of these consoles are gonna be way, way before my time, but it doesn't make me less excited because I love retro gaming and I don't mind trying any of these. So you've got a description, year of manufacturing. It also tells you how many games there are included. So it says 26 games and it gives you a random demo of a game in the bottom left hand corner. So the next one is MAME. Again, you can see how many games we have for MAME, which is an arcade emulator. We've got Final Burn Neo, 135 games there. Atari 2600. Atari 800. Atari 5200, Atari ST, Atari 7800, you got the Atari Lynx, 1989 people, yeah, I remember this console. I really wanted an Atari Lynx, um, they were really expensive at the time as from what I can recall and I didn't manage to persuade my parents to get me an Atari Lynx. Um, but yeah, here it is, I can play it to my heart content now. We've got the Atari Jaguar. 1993 one we've got Swan. check out how many it's crazy how many consoles are included 95 games commodore 64 or known as the c64 1982 i was exactly one year old when this released so that should give you an idea of my age commodore 64 you got amiga cd tv 1991 commodore amiga 1200 scum vm you got odyssey 2 in, in television, 1979, Vectrex, MSX1, MSX2, MSX2 again, we've got two MSX2s. One has 54 games, the other one has 153 games. That's interesting. Oh, we've got Windows games here. So Wine is a compatibility layer for Unix. So Wine allows you to load um, Windows games. I just wanna quickly go to Windows games and see what we have there. So these are all the Windows games that we have. Double Dragon Neon, wow. Pac-Man DX, Raiden, Streets of Rage, Remake. Hmm, very interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go back. 
So once you choose your category, you press the A button on the controller and that takes you to the list of games within. And then you press the red button to back out of it. So we've got light gun games, 57 light gun games. Now, let me tell you, I used to be a super fan of Time Crisis 2. I don't believe you're going to have Time Crisis on this, but even if you did, I don't understand how you can play this game uh, with your controller. You really do need a light gun. And I'm not sure if I can get a USB light gun to test this out with. That would be awesome, though, uh, to play a game like Time Crisis. I've heard of Point Blank. That's a good game, too. Nice. Terminator 2 is there. Oh yeah, so this is the very first light game I ever played. It was on the NES versus Duck Hunt and the sound effects are quite um, addictive. It makes you want to play when you hit the duck and that sound effect and the way he giggles when he comes up. Yeah, I remember that back in the day, people. Okay, we got the, we got the NEC PC 88. We got the NEC PC 98. Wow, there are some consoles here which I truly have not tried. Even if I may have heard of them, I've not had an opportunity to test them. This is it. Relive your childhood and play the games that you didn't get to play. This is what this console is about. So Turbo Graphics 16, Turbo Graphics CD, we've got Super Graphics, Game & Watch. Okay, original NES. Okay, here is the Famicom Disk System. Game Boy, Super Nintendo. My favorite all-time retro console was Super Nintendo and my very first game on it was Street Fighter Turbo. So that game came with my Super Nintendo and I was I played that game so much. I didn't have any other game for at least a month. I was just playing Street Fighter 2 Turbo. All right, Virtual Boy, Nintendo 64. There's 213 Nintendo 64 games. We are going to have a quick look at what games straight away World is not enough. Yeah, really nice. I love the system menus how all the games are presented, how you get a little preview over here as well. Airboard is all star tennis, all star baseball 99, and it's in alphabetical order. There are so many games here for you to choose from. Um, if you're a Nintendo 64 fan, you can, you're spoiled for choice. Bomberman 64. I used to love playing Mario 64, and I used to play ISS, International Superstar Soccer, um, I used to play a lot of, I used to play a lot of Diddy Kong Racing, which it looks like this is it actually, Diddy Kong Racing. We used to play multiplayer, there was my brother and my cousins, we used to get together and we used to play Diddy Kong Racing. And it was hours of fun, believe it or not. So Donkey Kong 64 is another good one. So many good games here, so many good games. Even ECW, we played all the wrestling games as well and they were mad fun. F-Zero X, FIFA 99. Yeah, this gonna, we're going to have some fun with this console. Fighting Force. Oh, one of my all-time favorites, GoldenEye. I think there are some great games on the N64. You are truly uh, spoiled for choice. You can still pick up an N64 controller and start playing the games and still enjoy it in 2021. That's my personal experience. Here is the game that I was talking about, International Superstar Soccer. I used to play this a lot. We used to just all us boys would get together after school and we used to play ISS. That's what we used to call it, ISS. So we got International Superstar Soccer, then the 2000 version, and then the 64 version. I remember really liking the 98 version. So Killer Instinct is another cool game, learning how to do those combos. And I can't even think of how to do one right now, but I used to know how to do these combos. I used to write them down as well and make sure I learned them. So Killer Instinct is another game that I used to enjoy playing. Knockout Kings 2000, I used to play that a lot. What else do we have? So many games, people. We're only on M. The Mario games, Mario 64. You got all the Mario parties there, Mario Tennis, Mega Man 64. Yeah. Mission Impossible, Monopoly, Mortal Kombat 4. Love that game. Here's the Mythologies with Sub Zero. Trilogies there as well. Is Ready to Rumble Racing there? That's what I want to know. We've got the NBA Jams. 99 and 2000. I'm actually going through all the N64 games. It's only because I'm really interested in this console. So I'm just going to quickly go through them all. We've got Quake. Uh, it skipped R. So we haven't, mm, I haven't seen Ready to Rumble Racing yet. We've got Rampage. There it is. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Really like this game. I would love to see a sequel to this game on the PS4 or PS5, but it just never happened. 
yeah really really nice fun game okay we're getting there I don't want to spend too much time here but I guess I have Shadowgate what else come on Star Fox Star Wars Super Mario 64 classic got Superman Top Rally Zelda is there both versions which is good news Tony Hawk's Torek 2 and 3 used to love Torek I'm into my dinosaurs Wave Race 64 that was like one of the first games they launched with N64 one of the first and when people saw the graphics they were like wow <laughs> and yeah to this day I have to say N64 were quite ahead of its time um, that's why it was such a successful console but I guess PlayStation cleaned house PlayStation 1 came and that's it that's all that's all people wanted after that everybody wanted PlayStation all right we're back to zero let's go back now that was all the N64 games that was actually 213 N64 games we've got Game Boy Color Nintendo GameCube we've got to look at this very quickly I won't take as long yeah you've got the James Bond games 2002 World Cup yep a lot of games in I'm just I'm literally going to just run through it so many nice Dreamcast games included so many nice GameCube games included sorry I called it Dreamcast I guess my mind is there wow that looks good Bomberman Generations Bomberman Land Burnout 2 Call of Duty wow old classic Capcom vs SNK 2 Right, there's a lot of games here. I'm just going to zoom through now. You can see the logos. Def Jam. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Def Jam Fight for New York. Love this game. You got Die Hard. I've played this game as well. It's crazy. Okay, let's keep going. I remember there being like a WWE game on GameCube. I'm just trying to jog my own memory here. I used to play that game a lot. But, oh, look at FIFA. 07 2002 FIFA 04 and FIFA 05 that's incredible FIFA Streets there FIFA Street 2 Fight Night Round 2 I'm definitely gonna be playing this game man I'm loving this console already I swear this is just a winner for me this is the best retro gaming console you can get only because it has all these games which take such a long time to download they're there for you all the Harry Potters Harvest Moon we've got Hitman 2 where is it? There it is. Hitman 2 is there. Wow. Incredible, incredible stuff. International Superstar Soccer 2. GameCube version and 3. And then you're back to the James Bond games. Yeah. I just... Nah, they don't have the WWE games included in this. Knockout Kings is there. 2003. Yep. Wow, look at that. Look how fast that looks. Legends of Wrestling. Okay, we're getting there. Legends of Wrestling 2. And this, this is not the game I was talking about, by the way, but I don't mind playing a bit of Legends of Wrestling. Luigi's Mansion is there. Madagascar. What else do we have? All the Mario stuff is coming up now. Mario Kart Double Dash. Cool. Mario Party 4, 5, 6, 7. Tennis. Super Mario Strikers. Oh, that looks like fun. Baseball. Medal of Honors. Yeah. It used to be all about Medal of Honor until Call of Duty showed up. So I still respect that game, Medal of Honor. Incredible graphics of its time. You got a few Metal Gear Solid games. Micro Machines, Monopoly, Mission Impossible, Monsters House. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Haven't played this one. Looks cool. And you got Mortal Kombat Deception. NBA Live, Need for Speed 2, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Most Wanted is there as well. You've got a few NFLs, NFL Street. A lot of games. Wow. I mean, this could keep you busy for a year if you really played through these some of these games. Ah, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Two Thrones, and Warrior Within. I've played all three of these games to completion. I love... Prince of Persia games. I think they look visually stunning. 
uh, massive massive uh, world graphics so much to do and I love the storylines and the gameplay yeah and all the running around and stuff I love that Prince of Persia fan for sure is Rainbow Six 3 Rayman 3 I wasn't meant to take this long I'm sorry guys I don't know if you guys want me to show you all this but I guess it's the first time I'm looking at it and I certainly want to see what's included here's the original Rocky game yeah now this got bad reviews but I, I, I have to admit I like this game because I'm a Rocky fan so I really enjoyed playing this game got it back nice so many games that I can see myself playing I haven't played this one it looks quite funny but yeah so many games I haven't played this is this is a con this is an investment people it's gonna keep you busy for a long time this was ideal during lockdown I swear if this came out during lockdown I would have picked up two I would have picked up one for myself maybe one for my brother because he's still into his retro as well Soul Calibur 2 all right we're getting towards the end spider-man 2 is there splinter cell wow Let's keep going keep going star wars you gotta have star wars right super mario strikers again super mario sunshine that's a good game swingers golf what else do we have we've got turtles turtles 2 and wow nice Turtles 3, Terminator Redemption, look at that, Terminator 3 looks sick, <laughs> Gamecube games, Fantastic Four, I bet that's good as well, Incredible Hulk, one of my favourite characters, there's a lot going on here, I've come to Zelda, it's all there, and that's it really, I think, no no, it carries on, Simpsons Hit and Run, got The Sims 2, Sims 2 Pets, Sims Breaking Out, Busting Out, sorry. The Sum of All Fears, Tiger Woods, Time Splitters 2, More Turtles, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, Tony Hawks, True Crime. Do you remember this game, people? This was a sick game. So you got New York City and you got True Crime, and you got True Crime, Streets of LA. Ah, I've seen the UFC logo. UFC Throwdown. I've not played this on the GameCube and I'm a UFC fan, but I didn't used to watch UFC in those days. So it'd be interesting to try this game out, see what UFC game was like. Yeah, I'm going to play that later. Definitely. Virtual Striker. Neat. Warrior World. Wow, these guys have really made effort putting all of these games in. Okay, we're getting to the section where I, sh I should have just went backwards. To see these games wwe crush hour here it is wwe day of reckoning i think this is the game i wanted to play it's in there you got day of reckoning 2 and i didn't get a chance to play this that looks sick you got wrestlemania x8 you got wrestlemania x1x all of these games i did not get a chance to play so this is great news for myself personally look at hulkster there flexing his muscles i can't wait to play this so we've got all the X-Men's, the yeah, official X-Men game. Even that looks sick. You've got Wolverine's Revenge. Look at that. I could just stay in the GameCube section and play this all day and not get bored. And okay, we're back to 007. So back to the start. Germany World Cup. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let's go back. So that was just GameCube. 508 games. And I'm gobsmacked by what's what you have there. So Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS... Now there's 1,500 Nintendo DS games. I'm not going to take too long in here, but we're going to have a quick look. Just a quick look. Just like, that's it. That's it. I'm just going to stop now because... Just a quick look. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. There's too many games. Let's go back. So we've got Nintendo Wii. Oh, wow. You can do Nintendo Wii. Yeah, we have a much more powerful mini PC here, which means you can play Nintendo Wii games. Wow. I am quite amazed. We are going to be testing this out to see if it actually plays the games full speed. But look at this, people. Nintendo Wii. There are some games I can think of, top of my head, that I would love to include in this, in this console if I can add my own games. And I think you can add your own games. There, there it is. This is the game I wanted. 
Super Mario Brothers Wii, I love this game and it's included people. They just, it's like Retro Station knows what Chiggs wants and have just chucked everything, all my favorite games on one console. That's incredible. This is something that I would cherish. I would really keep this console safe. It's like a collector's item. Once you buy it, if you're into retro games, you're gonna really look after this little unit. Okay, all right, so Nintendo Wii, Mr. Boom, Beats of Rage Open, open source configurations. You've got Doom, a Thomas Wave, Sega SG-1000, Master System, I had, that, I had this console, Sega Genesis, yeah, I had this one as well, Sega Game Gear, Sega CD, Sega Saturn. Hang on a sec, people. We're going to check out Sega Saturn. I want to go backwards. Yeah, WrestleMania Arcade is there. Worldwide Soccer. Yeah, look at that. Look at the games. VR Soccer. Virtual Open Tennis. Virtual Fighter. There it is. Virtual Cop. I used to love this. I'm going to go back. I'm not going to take too long now. Sega Genesis 32X Dreamcast 224 games. And there is no doubt that I'm going to have a quick look at the Dreamcast games. There's 224, so I'm going to be pretty quick at this. SNK Street Fighters there. Let's do this quickly. Crazy Taxi. Daytona USA. I used to play this in the arcades. Anything else? ECW's there. Whoa. What else do we have? Fighting Force 2, Frogger 2, just going to stop at games that catch my eye, Heavy Metal, House of Dead 2, where is it there, House of Dead 2, I used to love this. i got to really think about getting some sort of light gun for this, Mortal Kombat Gold. Here's the thing, you've got so many games from so many different, here you go, Power Stone and Power Stone 2 for all you power stone lovers out there and i used to have a dreamcast and i bought it really late and i had it for a very short period and i had just a few games with it and i'll be honest i wasn't too fond of it because i was playing other stuff which i was more into so i basically sold it so i didn't get much time with it there's a lot of games that i haven't played on dreamcast um i i the only game i remember playing was uh royal rumble for Dreamcast. I want to see if they've got that Royal Rumble game on here. But I really enjoyed that game and so I sold my Dreamcast. So basically I missed out in all of these games that I'm looking at right now and they all look good to me. There we go. Just get to W. We're going to see if we got Royal Rumble. Okay, WWF Attitude. I had that on the PlayStation. Royal Rumble, I think it was, so I think that's what it was. I had a PlayStation as well, and that took most of my attention, so the Dreamcast got neglected, ended up selling it. So this is the game I really liked on the Dreamcast, it's there for me to play, a Royal Rumble. Um, yeah, definitely gonna have fun with this. Let's go back. We've got Sega's Naomi Arcade, Sharp 6800, Sinclair ZX81, we've got the ZX Spectrum with the Spy V Spy, graphic in the background that rings a lot of bells i used to play spy vs spy on an atari from the top of my head i might be wrong neo geo system neo geo pocket neo geo color playstation are you f kidding me okay wait we're gonna come back to that but wait <laughs> we've got playstation on this playstation yeah i played a lot of these games Right, we've got PS2, which basically shocked me right now. I wasn't expecting Sony PlayStation 2 to be in this list. That's, what, yeah, I literally, Sony PlayStation 2, are you, are you joking with me? I actually can't believe that this is going to work. It, just, it tells you how powerful this mini PC is. That's going to let us do PlayStation 2. Let's see if there's any games worth playing, though, because there's not a huge list. Crash Bandicoot is there. Devil May Cry 3. Okay, if it plays any of these games, I would be, I would be quite happy. Guilty Gear's there, Guilty Gear. XX, International Super Soccer 3 is there. I will try that out in a bit. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Max Payne is there as well. Micro Machine, Mobile Light Force 2, I think I need glasses. 
Ultimate Ninja 5. Wow, look at this game. Uni Musha 2. Looks sick. Pro Evolution Soccer 2009. PlayStation 2 games, people. I feel like just starting the game up right now just to see if it can handle it. But I'm pretty sure it will. Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. And you got X3 right there. Super Buster Moods, Tetris, King of Fighters is there. Wow. Virtual Fighter 4. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe it that we're going to be emulating PlayStation 2 games. This is, this is uh, incredible stuff. Okay. Before I go through the list twice and not even notice, let's go back. So 74 PlayStation 2 games. I can think of a few games that I wish were in this list for PS2. We're going to see how it works. But we've always got the option to add our own. Can't wait to test these games out. PlayStation Portable, PSP, one of the best handheld game consoles of all time. It did better than the, the Vita did, to be honest. This is one really, really addictive console. And you got over 700 games. So again, not gonna go through all of them. I'm literally gonna skim through a few, first 50 or so, and it just gives you an idea what you're looking at. Awesome stuff, people, awesome stuff. Let's go back. So we've got something called Thompson T08. Definitely haven't heard of that one. You've got all games section and you've got favorites. So you could pick favorites from each console and you can add them into the favorite section and you can play those games anytime you like. Definitely a good feature there. So we're back to Amstrad CPC. I just let go of my controller. I am shocked at what we have here. This is uh, incredible stuff. I, if you have any interest in retro gaming right now, you may have ordered it already from the links in the description. You haven't even waited to see me load the next game because the last time I made a video for Retro Station, they sold out in 10, 20 minutes, literally. And, and, I, and I kid you not, this is gonna sell out even faster. It's time to test out this console and I think I'm going straight to PS2 because that is going to be an incredible experience for myself. One of my favorite all time consoles. I want to play international superstar soccer. Here we go. Let's play this game. So we're going to hit the blue button to start the game up. Let's see if it can handle it. This actually looks like it's going to run full speed. Yeah. Looks a bit messy. A little bit laggy as well. Um, a few frame drops I can feel um, and also it's quite fuzzy let's try a different game so start and select at the same time will basically reset you to the previous menu we're gonna have to try a different PS2 game because I think ISS struggled let's try something simple like Marvel vs Capcom 2 So that game played absolutely fine, no issues there. Let's try something else. We're gonna try Pro Evo Soccer. 
see if it plays any better. Okay. That actually doesn't seem to be bad at all. But there is a slight lag. I can tell this is not full speed. Oh. You see that slow motion action there? So PS2 games are not playing at full speed by the looks of it. I think we need a slightly more powerful processor in order to emulate PS2. Oh, come on. Okay, you can tell I'm still enjoying myself. All right, we're gonna exit this and try another PS2 game. Just to make sure. So Street Fighter played fine. So we're gonna try one more game and it's not gonna be a Street Fighter game. It has to be a slightly different genre. We're gonna try this game. Alright, we're gonna try Devil May Cry 3 and see what happens. Again, it's playing okay, the game is playable, but I feel that the graphics are slightly slower than it's supposed to be. So that's the trend in most PlayStation 2 games. So it's almost like you're just getting by. I'm not disappointed as it is quite an ambitious project for PS2 at least. There are still plenty of consoles on here that will work fine. So let's go ahead and try something else. Okay, so that was PS2. Now I'm going to go straight to Dreamcast, which is another difficult to emulate system. And we are going to play... All right, beginning with Power Stone.
just try a different console. Going straight to Sega Saturn. Alright, we're going to Nintendo Wii. Let's see if this can handle Nintendo Wii emulation. Alright, Mario Galaxy 2 straight away. Alright, time for some GameCube.
We wanted that a bit more than the attacker. Kumas. Won it well. Now what can he do? Good football from the defender. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Key. This is Rooney. All right, so I'm going to play a game. So I want to play a game console which I've never ever played before. So let's go to. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, shut up. All right, so I want to play a game console which I've never actually played before. So let's go to. All right, here it is. Thompson T08, 1986. So I was just a kid then. Let's see what the games are. Let's see what the games are like. Golden Eagle. I'm just going to be random. So ready? As soon as I hit the blue button, it's going to load up a game. So I'm going to just press the blue button. It's going to load up a game. Here we go. Boom. The game is called... I can't even read that, people. That looks like French. All right. Not actually sure what to do here. Maybe I'll press number one. And then press enter. That didn't work. Press one again. Press enter. Okay, something's happening. So I had to press select to bring up the keyboard. No idea what that says. Mauritius. Right. How do you play this? Enter. Sorry guys, this is not going to work. Um, no idea how to play this. It doesn't doesn't use a game controller, that's for sure. All right, let's try a different console. Maybe Thompson is not the one for me. Let's try a different one. Sharp. Yeah, that looks that looks quite arcadey. Sharp X sixty eight thousand. Never heard of this. Nineteen eighty seven manufactured by Sharp. Let's go in and choose a game. Again, we just do random. Now. Arcus 2, Silent Symphony. We've got a storyline there. I kind of wish I could skip the cutscenes, but I can't. Okay. Give up. It's not proceeding from that image, and I don't have the patience to wait. All right, we're going to play Turbo Graphics CD. This was made in 1988. It's a CD-ROM system, so I'm expecting the graphics to be half decent. There's only two games here, Double Dragon 2 and Dungeon Explorer. All right, we're going to play Double Dragon 2. And I have heard of this game because I've played it on the Atari and I believe on the Super Nintendo. So it's not a game that I'm not familiar with. I have played Double Dragon before. It's like a Streets of Rage title. Street beat em up. Or like I'm getting beat em up. And you jump, jump. I want to play a quick Windows game. Wow. So you saw Double Dragon from the 80s. Now this is Double Dragon from the 90s. This is more like it.
All right, Street Fighter Victory. Never seen this before. Um, let's try it out. It seems like a custom game. So you can't do any of the moves. I'm just pressing one button to do that. I'm just pressing one button to do that. So it's a totally custom game. Oh, look at the size of that guy. Ah, just keep punching and the Hadouken will come out. As a combo. Nice. I like that it's got a mix of SNK and Street Fighter characters that just walk up to you on the street. This is an interesting game. Oh, it's got characters from other arcade titles. I think it's Samurai Shogun. And it's hard. I'm about to lose. Oh, we've got to play one N64 game at least before we wrap up. And I'm going to keep this one random. So, random, here we go. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Monopoly. <laughs> Earthworm Jim 3D. Now the best thing about this console is the con controller is configured for every single game that you emulate. So you don't have to, to configure anything at all. It just works. Amazing stuff. So that was my detailed look at the brand new Retro Station 2-in-1 mini PC. And this is without any doubt the best retro gaming system I have ever used. It's also the most comprehensive system and I would consider it as a collector's item for the hardcore retro fans out there. I simply love how this has been put together. Now that being said, sorry about this super long video. This console is just jam packed to the brim, so we had a lot to cover. If you got this far without skipping, then you are a true retro fan, just like me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.